energy poverty is such a serious issue in so many areas, and it doesn't have to be very far away. I mean, you look in Puerto Rico and islands like that, they have constant disruption that causes stress on businesses and medical clinics, etc. And then you go more of extreme example in emerging markets where you know, they have to spend their day looking for sources of energy. I remember being in, uh, in Mexico on the beach and seeing this massive amount of seaweed pile up. I said, what if we can convert this to energy? And they started looking at waste differently. I look at it as a feedstock. The world generates a lot of waste. Businesses generate a lot of waste. It's expensive to get rid of the waste. If we could redirect that waste and generate clean energy on site, it could help solve the world's organic and plastic waste problem. The next door, we manufacture a machine that converts organic and plastic waste into clean energy. We can take paper, plastic, food waste, any other non-recyclable plastics, and we can process those and make clean energy. When I was introduced to Nexor and, and the concept and what we wanted to achieve, I immediately kind of thought back to some experiences I had while I was overseas for the military. I remember being out in the communities, being out in the environment in those places, and then you start to look around and all you notice is trash. And then you also notice some families or communities only got two hours of electricity a day at night. And in that two hours, you gotta cook, maybe turn on the heat for a little while, it gets cold at night, and you have to, you know, all these things you gotta rush to do in a two hour period. And, you know, can you imagine managing your family like that? That's, the, that's what I thought about immediately when I was introduced to this company and this project and, and why I wanted to be a part of it. So obviously at a startup, you're expected to wear many different hats. And so it's no different here. Um, I started as a business analyst two years ago. And over time, you know, I kind of found that my skill set and passion for technology really could be leveraged in a way to kind of position us to be a leader. I'm really passionate about finding innovative ways to use technology to kind of bring the industrial space into a 21st century. The BioCHP system basically takes organic and unrecycled plastic waste and through a proprietary reaction process we're able to convert that into 75 kilowatts of energy which is about enough for a small medium-sized retail building uh, and then 125 kilowatts of thermal energy. The system works like a generator except for Instead of using diesel fuel, you use waste. And instead of an internal combustion engine driving the prime mover to make electricity, you have the combination of a thermal reaction moving a micro turbine to produce electricity and your waste becomes the fuel for that. The byproduct of our process is mineral ash. It's non-toxic, so you can use it as fertilizer. Since the discovery of fire, burning things to make energy has been going on for thousands of years. So the concept is not new. But the way we've done it, the way we've assembled these parts into a system is new. Generally, renewable energy technologies have to exist at large scale, utility. Because of the modularity of the machine, right? It's in a container, it's easy to, to move that. We can locate our machine where the waste is. And usually where waste is located is where energy is most valuable. And like any startup, you hit a lot of dead ends and you make pivots. And sometimes that dead end is very stressful. And then you realize the pivot you made was better than where you started. COVID had a huge impact on our firm our city served a notice to shut down. If we shut down, we might not ever open up again. The writing was on the wall. We could see what was happening. We were not gonna let external forces dictate our future. And nearly at that same moment, we got a phone call from a partner asking if we could help them source some ventilators. We just said two things. One is we can make energy from waste. I'm pretty sure we can make a ventilator. 
And two, our company revolves around building things. And so we're gonna give our team something to build. On March 25th, none of us knew anything about a ventilator. And 72 days later, we had a FDA authorized ventilator built and, and ready to go. Building a ventilator has really taught me that what you can do is pretty limitless. I had to learn a ton to make the ventilator happen. New ways to utilize products maybe that aren't for their intended use. The vent also gave us a lot more exposure to control systems and uh, other types of smaller scale electronics, which now we're applying that expertise to bioenergy products. Every day we overcome hurdles, engineering challenges that seem impossible, but we're able to overcome. Building things from scratch is very hard. What we've evolved into today is very akin to the man in the arena speech, where I would rather be in the noble pursuit of doing something new or risky and fail than on the outside criticizing, looking in, and be safe. And through that, what I've learned is that there's just literally nothing that people aren't capable of. In the next five years, next 10 years, you know, we, we expect great things from the company. We expect to be in every continent. Um, I still have a vision of, of driving through Africa with trucks and, and deploying systems throughout, really, the most needy areas in the world. Personally, I always thought of manufacturing as kind of uh, an outdated, antiquated um, type of space. You just have to look at a company like Tesla to see that that's not true. And I think there's a lot of companies out there, including an XOR, that are really going to be at the forefront of the manufacturing space. A message to the younger generation would be, take away all of your preconceived uh, mindset and notions about what industrial and manufacturing is because uh, it's right up there with the Googles and the Teslas and the Apples of the world. My industry of the future is providing a distributed energy solution to solve the world's waste problem. <laughs>